Hello my brethren, I hope you're all well. In this video I will simply read out an article that I wrote for Barbarossa's website Shedding of the Ego. You can find the link for the article in the description below. Please visit the website, there is a lot of interesting articles there and I think you'll have a good time reading most of them. MGTOW have for a long time now faced a bit of opposition from females on their opinions about going their own way. However, I have noticed a new trend of females declaring that they're going their own way. Females who state that they're happier on their own than how they were while married. And I want to debunk this myth once and for all. And I want to show the men that your ex-wife is not happier than when she was with you. That even though she took everything, she will never be as happy as she once was. Women are now unhappier than they ever were. Despite their life getting better, despite being equal now, women actually have more rights than men, they're actually unhappier than ever. It seems to be that living more like a man is not as enjoyable as once envisioned. There are some well-known facts about marriage now, and I use statistics actually in this article that are the lowest that I could find. 40% of them end in divorce, and the vast majority of divorces are initiated by women. The divorces are initiated for a lot of reasons. The reasons are becoming more fluid. Unreasonable behavior seems to be a popular reason. There is no criteria on this. It's basically the female saying that she's not happy with her man's behavior. There is no definition of what unreasonable behavior may be. For the most part, the men, when they are married, do not want to get divorced. For one part, the majority of men can see the financial obstacles that a divorce can bring to you. So they stick around even in the face of problems but they also see that their children's long-term outcome is much more secured if they stay in the marriage. The majority of divorces occur when the children are younger than 16 years of age. You see, if we make the quick assumption that the majority of divorces are initiated by women, and that these women take the children away, then these females essentially force their children to be raised by single mothers. The majority of the prison population are, of course, men who were raised by single parents. In actual fact, Fatherlessness leads to criminality in children. For nobody, neither men nor women, does a divorce offer more happiness. In fact, studies on this very subject have shown that the happiness levels never return to the levels that they previously were while married. A lot of women that divorce men believe that once the divorce happens, their happiness levels will return to their single life levels. Also, although women get a big payout, as soon as the divorce occurs, the realities of life show that men fare better following a divorce financially in the long term compared to females who fare a lot worse than when they were married. This shows us, once more, that the very point that Turt Flingy Monkey said in one of his videos, women are bad at maths. A large payout on a single person that has no workable skills will lead to long-term poverty, whereas for males the poverty is short-lived and their financial success grows over the years. As I said above, single parent households, which in essence means fatherless households, lead to children who are a lot more likely to become criminals. In fact, if you look at the biggest generation of criminals right now, it's not social inequality, but rather fatherless households. And this is a well-known fact. What this means is that these females who initiate divorce are either 1. not aware of this, 2. are aware of it and do not care about their children, and 3. what children? What awareness? There is only me, me, me. Personally, I was raised by a very loving family and a very loving mother and grandmother, so I cannot say that all females think like that. But a lot of the females do, and feminism has definitely contributed to the rise in selfishness among these females. The widespread rise in divorce rates globally is showing that these females may not love their families more than they love themselves. And should people like that be granted automatic custody of their children? I personally don't think so. What is apparent by all this is that men play a significant and very important role in the raising of their children. Despite the evidence, men are not recognized for the positive effects that they play on their offspring's life. What these statistics and studies show us is that males and fathers in particular should be thanked about their efforts a lot more than they currently do, since they appear to single-handedly prevent a lot of the crime. What is also apparent by these statistics is that females are a lot happier with a man in their life. The majority of the females do not remarry following a divorce, but the reasons as to why that happens are not clear-cut. 
Now, whether that is due to lack of opportunity and declining looks or due to their personal choice, one can only make assumptions. So no, my dear gentlemen, your ex-wives are not happier than when they were with you. They simply aren't, and that is a fact. In actual fact, gentlemen, in order to keep your women happy, you must be less happy than her. And inequality in terms of happiness between men and women only maintains a marriage when the woman is happier than the man. I think this simply speaks to an almost parasitic existence for these females, an existence which may be linked to their partner's unhappiness when compared to her. Is it strange that women try to cause as much damage following a divorce then? Those hurtful actions may in actual fact make them happier, seeing that their actions make a man miserable. I mean, this is a truth that Miktao have known for a long time. And that is why Miktao does not advocate for the breakage of marriages, but rather tells men not to get married, because we care about men, and we really care about their long-term happiness. Now we know that even in successful marriages, a woman's happiness must be above that of her man for the marriage to be maintained. What further reason do you need in order to not get married? More than anything else, we care about children, and we want them to maintain their long-term happiness. And studies show us that children's happiness is maintained in a marriage, even a shitty one. And the next generation of boys and girls, we want them to be as well-balanced and as happy as possible. They're after all the future. That is the reason we do not advocate for men to get divorced. It's not simply the financial hardships that may ensure in the short term, but also the fact that children matter. What is obvious to me is that following feminism and the equality, let's say, revolution that we saw, we are now getting a glimpse in the true nature of women. And what we are seeing is a force of destruction that, when left unchecked, will ruin both their own happiness and ours. And these laws that permit these things that I mentioned above are here to stay. Therefore, there is no reason to assume that the behavior of women will improve in any way in the future. In actual fact, I'm predicting that their behavior will actually get a lot worse in the near future. Just look at the third wave feminism if you need further proof. So the only choice for all of us is to move away from marriage and to keep away from cohabitating with females. And this is becoming apparent to men everywhere. Is it any surprise that MGTOW is growing? A lot of the men have been brought up in single parent households and they saw how toxic that environment was. Only the thought that if that man was to get married, his child has the potential of living a similar life to him will push that man away from marriage forever. Personal experience has prevented a lot of men from getting married and going MGTOW. Discovering the true nature of women is also a huge determinant towards that direction too. In conclusion, to all the married men out there who got divorced and are now our brothers, know this, your wives are more miserable than what they were before. And however miserable they claim they were with you, they're actually faring a lot worse now. Life is a bitch, but it's going to be more of a bitch to her than you in the long term. Thank you very much for listening. This was Nikuchowski talking about all things man. Please like, share and of course subscribe to my channel for more updates. Check the links below for all the evidence used in this article.